So welcome everybody to my video about the project I did for Data in the Cloud at the University of Applied Sciences in Regensburg. I created uh, some uh, small node manager to demonstrate uh, different APIs to access the data store in the Google App Engine. Um, I manage users and every user can have one or more nodes. He can create and edit and delete for himself. So my web application looks like this. This is the front page and if the user logs in, um, usually the user account appears, but I'm already logged in so there is no prompt for this. As you can see, I have no nodes created yet. So I can create a new one, test one, submit it, and it's written in the data store. I can create another one just to show you. So I created three nodes. Um, here are two links to edit the node. Um, and it's written back. So I can also delete the notes here. Um, and if I click to settings, it shows me my account information. Um, the currently used persistence layer is here at JDO, so I can switch to another one. I can use JPA for example. Save it and the application switches immediately for my user to JPA and uses JPA's persistence layer. Um, if I click to show me the nodes, um, App Engine has to load the JPA for the first use um, and it shows me all the nodes I created yet. Loaded not with JDO from data source, um, with JPA. Um, if we create some new nodes, there is JPA used to write and edit the data in the data store. So everything works the same way. The user does no see any difference between which persistence layer is used. So and if I show you some code here, um, this is the user pocho. It's an entity defined here for JPA and JDO. There are some flags which are necessary for JPA to define it as ID and primary key. The same is used for JDO. Here is some nickname, email, and here is the list the user saves the n list of nodes he created. Um, here are some setters and gatherers, and that's all. The same for the node entity. We have also here the ID defined and the, the text for the node, and here is a transient means it's not stored in data store. It's just used to show up uh, the key for the link in the JSP page. And also again here setters and getters. Um, to create an instance of data store, a uh, data store persistence layer, here's used a DAO factory. Um, it loads the selected persistence layer from the user account settings um, and switches and loads um, the according persistence layer and registers it in the DAO. Um, this is saved in the instance, it's a static DAO factory pattern here. Um, Um, the DAOs are 
implementing the interface style. And here I used some abstract methods to overwrite them in the implementing DAO. Um, this is the DAO for JDO and the user object. And you can see here it um, loads the persistence manager and just puts the user object within the um, under management of the persistence manager. Um, the load loads the user object from data store. Um, I can get all nodes back and here I uh, implemented some close function to close the persistence manager which actually writes the changes back to data store. Um, if I look here to JPA, local user DAO, you can see this is quite the same like JDO. The only difference is that the methods you're calling here are, for example, find and not get object by ID. But the usage is quite the same between JPA and JDO. Um, to enable JPA or JDO in your project, you need to implement um, persistence XML which you can copy from the Google documentation and it defines the data provider which is used to access data store. Um, my logic <coughs> sorry. My logic is done by a servlet. It has the normal do get and do post methods. Um, which handles the input data, um, saves it to data store and creates some output files, or some output messages. Um, the same is done for the user management. There's a user servlet which checks for if the user is lo logged in with the Google account and if it is the user is the first time on the on the page on the app, um, he has created a new local user object, and it's saved in data store for this application. Um, the pages are displayed by JSP files. Um, which use a bean to get the data back and fill it in the JSP file. Um, the bean looks like this. Oh, it takes a while. Um, it creates a new DAO by the DAO factory um, and receives the necessary data back from data store and do some does some modifications to create link and transform some data and then just returns it back to the JSP file. Okay, that was all. Thanks for watching you and you can try it out now. Bye.